From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is a Varsity Update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with Cameron Jordan, high school sports writer. Cameron, even though obviously football games started last week, this is the official, official start of the football season. As week one is here, everybody uh, most likely will be out there playing uh, a game this weekend. Let's talk about Thursday night. If you're a football fan, you don't have a game to go to, what's the best game in the metro area for people to go see? You know, there's only there's really only two games in the Oklahoma City metro area, but they're both really fantastic games. First, we'll start off on the north side of the city. You have Millwood facing Heritage Hall. Last year, that was a huge matchup. Millwood came away with the victory, and it ended up being Heritage Hall's only loss of the year when they went on and won the Class 3A state title. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great, another great matchup. Millwood has, has some key faces that they have to replace, but so does Heritage Hall. It's going to just be a really interesting matchup to see who can come out on top this year. Mm -hmm. Go a little bit south, you have the crosstown clash between Norman High and Norman North. That's also going to be a great game for atmosphere. Yeah. Um, it's always fun when you get to play down at Owen Field in Norman, so sure. that's always a, going to be a great matchup on Thursday. So you've got a great potential matchup in that Millwood Heritage Hall, but then if you're wanting some atmosphere, High school game on Owen Field, you can't hardly beat that. Most definitely. I mean, yeah. I know for I know all the kids that get to play in a game. I mean, get to play on the same field that OU does. That's yeah. pretty special, and that game means a little means a lot to the to everyone down in Norman, and it's bragging rights for the next year. Or so yeah. Yeah. it's going to be a really it's going to be a really big event this year as well. A couple rivalry games on Thursday night, really, uh, but Friday, big slate of games. If you're in the Metro, where do you go on Friday night for a game? I think if you want to see the biggest stars in the Metro, I think one of the best games you can attend is McGinnis at Dell City. Um, it's two of the top teams and for McGinnis, Class 5A, and then for Dell City in Class 6A too. Mm -hmm. For McGinnis, you have OU commit Brendan Walker and TCU commit uh, Dominic Richardson. Both of them are absolutely standout athletes. On Dell City's side, you have a three-headed monster on defense. You have Donovan Stevens, you have Tyron Williams, and you have Rajon Tatum, who is the little brother of Ron Tatum. Okay. And so those three are it's just a monster with how good Dell City's defense has the potential to be. So if you want to see star players going against each other, uh, heading down to Dell City for this matchup is going to be a huge. Is, is McGinnis Dell City, is that going to be, you see that being a pretty good game? I mean, you've got two really great programs facing off, right? It's a, I think for both these teams are going to be happy that it's a non-district game <laughs> yeah. because yeah. this is such a, it's going to be, I think it's going to be one of the closer games in the Metro. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started going through my picks and everything this week for picking all the games, and I have not quite gotten to that one yet. <laughs> um, no, but like you said, just with the star players with being the first game of the season, yeah. there's still a lot of questions for both sides, but it's really going to come down to Dell City's defense is fantastic, but Bishop McGinnis has its star players of its own. Yeah. Who is going to be able to s step up come the third, fourth quarter and really take over and win that game? All right, some great games. Week one. We'll have all the details leading up to and following the game, so be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at Oklahoman.com and every day in the Oklahoman.